Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everyone is doing great today. Um, well, this is quick tip number eight, and I just want to take this time and thank all of you who have been following me throughout these videos. Uh, you know, I thank you, thank you, and it, uh, it, it helps a lot. Anyway, in this quick tip, what we're gonna do and what we're gonna talk about is actually a something that's been out for quite a while now, but maybe not a lot of people have adopted to this certain thing. And you know, I just wanted to share this out, my point of view, and also what this thing is. And as you can tell in my screen and your screen, what you're seeing right now, it's we're gonna talk about a program called Dropbox. So basically, here comes the question of the day. Have you ever wanted to save something on your computer, right? And let's say, you know, you wanted to save something that is probably, let's say, 50 megabytes or something that's 100 megabytes or even a gigabyte, right? But you want to share that file or let's say you don't have a flash drive with you at the moment, nor do you have any DVDs. So you would like to maybe access that through an online database. Well, with Dropbox, you could totally do that. Basically, Dropbox, what Dropbox is, is think of it as an email client. When you send something to someone else in an email, you're actually sending the file. But there is a certain limit to every email server. For example, Gmail, the max on that is 29 gig, uh, megabytes. On Yahoo, it's 29 megabytes, plus you have to wait, and plus they have to verify it, verify the file. So it makes sending files hectic. But let's say you have uh, a, a file that's over 29 megabytes. Well, there you are stuck. So that's where Dropbox comes in place. You could totally upload something to the Dropbox server and just copy a public link and send the link to another person through an email. They'll receive the link, click on it, and view your file through an online server from Dropbox. And they could download that file directly from the server, which is pretty neat. It's nice. And as you can tell from the wallpaper here, it says save, share, anytime. So it's pretty cool. So let me demonstrate what Dropbox can do, and I'll tell you how to get it. Okay, and I'll give you some, I guess, some uh, opinions on on it. Okay, great. So basically, Dropbox is an online application that you download to your computer, and this is compatible with a Mac and a PC as well. So let me drag a Finder window, and as you can tell here, when I go to my desktop, I have nothing here. But look at this option here. It says Dropbox. So whenever you download the file, from the uh, online website, you will get this folder, Dropbox. In Windows, you will get it as a uh, another folder, another uh, another sidebar item, and in the Mac as well, in your sidebar here. So if I click on Dropbox, you could tell that there's a folder already. And Dropbox already places that by default, and it's called the public folder. So everything that you want to share online, or just you just want to keep it online, you could just, you know, just put it there in the public folder. So I have a lot of things here, as you can tell. So, for example, if we go to our public folder and we see all of these files here, if I click on one file, let's say I click on this muzzle flash. So as you can tell here, let's look down here, it's 12.1 megabytes. Cool. Now, and also you might notice this little green check mark. What that means is whenever I place a file to my public folder, the public folder will automatically connect to the Dropbox server and whatever is inside my public folder will get uploaded. And once it is uploaded, you will see this green check mark. So it's pretty cool. But remember, you have to download the program first. So basically, let's look at this muzzle flash. Right click on it. Now notice that there is a different option here in my uh, shortcut menu, and it's Dropbox. So if I hover over Dropbox, I have three options. And it says Browse and Dropbox website, View previous versions, or Copy public link. Now let's say you want to maybe browse on the Dropbox website. When you click on this, you're going to go to Dropbox.com, and you're going to go to your account. And in your account, you'll see all of these items here. So basically, what you're telling Dropbox to do is, you know what, open up my default browser, 
let's go to the Dropbox website, let's go to my account, and I just want to see it in my browser window. That's what you're telling it. When you say view previous versions, when you click on that, basically, let's say you inputted, uh, you dragged and imported a file to this folder. And let's say you deleted that file and you brought another one. So if you want to view previous versions of this file, just click on that. And finally, this third one, which I use a lot, is copy public link. And basically, whenever you click on this, let's click on it. You saw that nothing happened, but something did happen. Something got copied to your clipboard. So let's go to Google Chrome. Sweet. Now let's right click, paste and go. So as you can tell there, dl.dropbox.com slash u. Basically, it gave me a public link where I could access it anywhere online. So let's go, let's say I go to Best Buy and I want to see that file. All I have to do is get this URL and go to a Best Buy computer over there in one of the laptops that have internet, type this in and I'll see my file online, which is pretty cool. Now this is uh, taking a little bit long because I have other tabs open in my other window but you get the idea let me just stop this so let me uh, go over something a little bit more simple so I have a website here that I have been working on a long time ago so if we go to Dropbox copy public link go back to Google Chrome paste and go we should see a result quickly so right now it's loading a little bit um, slow due to the reason that uh, you know the Dropbox servers are doing what they're you know trying to do so this is a website I did you know a long time ago but um, I haven't released it at all yet but I will another time so it's pretty cool see you get everything basically um, you could host your own website for free even if you uh, if you if you'd like to so it's pretty cool see it's loading a little bit slow but um, but it will get yeah so that's it so that's it pretty much uh, that's what Dropbox is so if you don't have a flash drive and you want to use your flash drive go ahead and download Dropbox use Dropbox okay now how do you get Dropbox onto your computer here's how you do it go to your favorite browser in this case it's Google Chrome type in Dropbox once you type in Dropbox go to your first link now once you see this link, you have um, some options here. It says download Dropbox or watch a video if you'd like some more explanation of Dropbox. So basically you just download the file, install it, and you will get that folder that you previously saw in my computer, and which is pretty cool. So if I log in, let's log in, because you're going to have to create an account while you download Dropbox. So I already did. So. Let's uh, log into mine so you can see how the online database looks like. Okay, great. Now that we're here, basically we're seeing the exact same thing we saw on my computer. As you can tell, I have a public folder. So if I click on this public folder, we have everything that was on my computer because it uploads automatically, which is pretty friggin' sweet. Also, one, I guess, one difference from the computer version and the upload version is that in your computer version you could basically drag anything to your share folder that's over 200 megabytes and it will just upload automatically and if you want to upload something let's say if we uh, upload something from here the website the limit is 200 megabytes something to keep in mind and also here on the website uh, let's say you want to share something uh, my Captain America wallpaper if I copy the public link, I have this option to shorten the link, which is pretty cool. See? So you copy the clipboard, and then you could go to Facebook, whatever, and then just, you know, type that in a post, and then you, people will click on that post and go and see your file through their browser window, which is pretty cool. So that's Dropbox for you, and uh, I hope you take advantage of this program, and it's free. Just a disclaimer here, you only have two gigabytes of free space, and if you do want to upgrade, it's uh, I think it's fifty dollars for one hundred gigabytes, or something like that. Well, you know, uh, there's I'm not sure about the pricing, but you know, it's reasonable. 
but two gigabytes is a lot of a lot of space so if you are running a network server and probably you need to share files and you probably want to buy it uh, by the higher uh, version there is no actually there is no versions just space so something to keep in mind Dropbox really rocks get it Dropbox rocks no okay anyway that was quick tip number eight and I hope you guys take advantage Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see... Well, I will see you in two days. I will see you in two days. Just a little message here. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video, it's um, me explaining something about uh, green screening something, which is pretty pretty awesome. So check it out. And uh, also, um, I will be releasing... Um, you know, I haven't said this at all, but I will be releasing the first... Final Cut Pro 10 training series here on YouTube. So if you saw, if you're hearing this right now, you're probably one of the dedicated people, and I will release a Final Cut Pro 10 training, complete training, on YouTube soon. And it's going to be the first series to ever premiere on YouTube. Well, that's you know complete and, and, and training. So yeah, just letting you know. So thank you very much. Make sure to. Uh, watch my past new videos, and I'll see you next time.